Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about mental diet, what that means, and how to have a good mental diet. This is something I don't think, I've like talked about it on my channel before, but I don't think I've used the phrase mental diet, um, but I know it's a really popular phrase within the manifestation community, within the law of assumption community, and I'm sure even the law of attraction community. We don't know her here, but <laughs> basically, um, I want to talk about your mental diet because it's so important. Like, if you think about, like, working out, for example, I really love working out. It's therapeutic for me. It's something that's an escape for me. Um, but when you think about it, <sighs> working out is, like, affirmations for manifestation. Do you know what I mean? Like, exercise is to like losing weight is what affirmations is to manifesting that kind of didn't make sense but basically I just mean that um like they say with working out exercise is obviously important and something that you need to incorporate but if you're not eating the right way and if your nutrition is not where it should be at then you're not really going to see the results that you want to see and it's kind of the same with manifestation so yes you can say the affirmations and you can do the work for it and that's great but if your mental diet is not where it needs to be then you're not going to see those results because then basically having a bad mental diet means that you don't have a you don't have a super strong self-concept and as i've talked about before that's a huge problem uh when people are manifesting because they are like i have been affirming i've been doing all this stuff i've been scripting i've been doing all this why am i not seeing any movement and that question alone is why you're not seeing the movement because you are manifesting to see movement when you should just know that it's already yours which is hard especially when you're first manifesting because people get impatient people want to see things and they want to see if i'm doing all this stuff is the work paying off and i promise it will if you stop asking that question <laughs> it's like the the basic answer um but basically with your mental diet you can be affirming basically 24 7 but, um, you know what, actually, a lot of people also that I have worked with or just people that I know, um, they'll have kind of set schedules for when they affirm. Um, I don't, I don't do it that way. I just affirm when I affirm. Um, but basically, let's say if you did have like a set schedule for when you affirm, like you affirm for like 20 minutes a day or something. Again, I don't do that. That doesn't work for me, but I know for some people it works for them. Um. And that's not at all something that you have to do unless you feel like it would help you, in which case absolutely do it. And it's always about finding what works for you, what's best for you when manifesting and especially when affirming. <sighs> but anyways, basically, so when you affirm, obviously those are all super positive thoughts, positive assumptions, positive affirmations, all of that. But if you stop affirming and let's say, like me, you read them from your phone or something, you're like, okay, I deserve everything I... I have, I get whatever I want, blah, 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 set your phone down, and then you're just thinking about how shitty your life is, that's having a bad mental diet, that's just only letting in negativity. The affirmations can't do anything if you're just spewing negativity in your head or if you're just doubting things all day. There's no point in affirming if that's all you're going to do with the rest of your time. Um, you know, I can give you the best affirmations out there and affirmations that have worked for myself, but if you can't do the rest of the work, which 90% of it is your mental diet and what you do outside of affirming, then you're never going to see those results that you want. Again, think of it like exercising. You can be at the gym for like two hours a day, but then if you go and have like in and out, then you go to Cold Stone, I'm kind of calling myself out here, but if you do all that, you can't expect to see results or see results as quickly as you would if you went to the gym and then just ate like whole foods, clean foods, whatever. Um, but it's like I said, it's the same thing with uh, manifesting. You are not going to see those results if you are affirming all day, but at the same time you have negative thoughts. Oh, um, you know, SP is crazy about me. SP and I are so happy together. And then the next minute you're like, why hasn't he texted me? Um, you know, why haven't they called me back? Why haven't I heard from them? That's, that's not doing anything. You're completely canceling out anything that you've done up to that point. You're canceling things out that you've done, but you can correct it. Um, so it's not to say that your work is for nothing, but you have to be aware of the mistakes that you've made and also know how to correct it. So now that I feel like we've gotten the gist of what a mental diet is and the negative effects that can have, basically how I would 
solve that is to um, correct it in the moment. So maybe you don't realize it in the moment, maybe you realize after you've had several of those thoughts, you know, whatever. I know people spiral. Again, I've seen it in clients and it's totally fine. And basically what I, um, cause I, I'll have clients be like, I don't want to negatively affirm that. Like, I don't want to reaffirm that they haven't texted me back, but like, why haven't they texted me back? And I'm just like, okay, you are human. You're going to have those questions. You're going to have those thoughts. Um, but just know that whatever you see is not all that is what's happening. Um, you know that your manifestations are always working. You know that you're always going to see your manifestations, that you always see your manifestations. So you don't need to wonder about why that person hasn't reached out, why this hasn't happened, why that hasn't happened. You don't, you don't need to care. You don't need to know the how. You don't need to, you can determine the how if you want, but you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to worry about if something is going to happen because you know that it will. It's all a part of self-concept. It's all a part of affirming, assuming the best um, and knowing that you're going to get it regardless. It doesn't matter. The, all those are circumstances that do not matter. Circumstances couldn't matter less. Um, but basically in those moments, I would just say you're human. I understand that we all have those moments and especially when you first start manifesting, but it, it, it comes in later as well. Um, but I would just say, you know what, any negative thoughts that I've had don't have any negative effect on my manifestations um and that's that's the main thing it will only negatively affect your manifestations if you think that it will if you assume that it will because i'll get a lot of those questions too like i spiraled i started reacting to circumstances i started reacting to the 3d and like now i feel like i've just ruined everything or my manifestations are um like ruined now like what do i do and that's exactly what i say it's only ruined it's only negatively affected if you assume that it is so if you instead just acknowledge that that was a human moment that you had it was a fleeting thought it doesn't mean anything you know that you always get what you want you know that you never have to question the circumstances and you know that those things don't ever negatively affect your manifestations then you're fine you can easily correct it again everything is all what you assume so if you assume the best even in those dark moments or those frustrating moments then you will only ever get the best in return um so that's that's the biggest thing and you know making a good mental diet is always going to be something that is gradual um rarely are people able to fully commit to a again think of it like a regular diet or i, I don't i don't like the word diet really that, that's i think i think that's why i haven't ever really used it on the channel but basically if you think about it like trying to eat better in terms of food um you know it's not something that's going to happen overnight a lot of people struggle people have cravings and those are like those human moments with affirmations um those aren't bad things those are things that are normal and those are things that you know if it happens it's not going to ruin you know me having ice cream one night is not going to ruin my whole weight loss journey like in the moment it kind of might feel like it and i'm like what am i doing but also i know that i can do the work to um like counteract that or I know that that's not going that's not the reason why you know I'm doing the things that I'm doing um and so it's the same with having a good mental diet it's something that's going to be gradual it's something that you may feel like you have slip ups but they're only slip ups if you think that they are so if you only ever assume the best and you know that your mental diet is always improving that's another thing you can say my mental diet is always improving i have such a great mental diet i only ever think positive thoughts i only ever assume the best for myself i only ever have positive assumptions those are all great affirmations just to reinforce that you have a good mental diet and over time it's just about it, the main thing is not reacting because that's kind of when um bad mental diets come into play because you start questioning things that are happening or not happening and it just creates negativity that is not necessary and so it's like you're affirming but then also 90 percent of your thoughts or more are negative so it's like what's the point of affirming if you're only ever gonna think the opposite or oh i'm affirming for this job but um they said that i wouldn't be able to get it or i'm affirming for this job and um they said that i wasn't qualified i've gotten messages like that too and it doesn't matter it does it doesn't matter you don't need to worry about that if you want the job you can get it because it's yours because you said that it was don't worry about the circumstances don't worry about any of any anything don't worry about it it will work itself out because you say that it does the universe is designed for you to succeed another great affirmation so 
Uh, mental diet is always a work in progress, but you are always improving it. You're always getting better and you're always finding affirmations to um, make your mental diet stronger as well. And again, my mental diet is becoming stronger every day. I have such a strong mental diet. It's easy for me to have a strong mental diet. I remember when I didn't have a strong mental diet, now I do. Those are all examples, um, great examples of affirmations that you can use. So that is going to be it for this video. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you are interested in coaching with me, I do email coaching. The email that I use is in the description. So you can just shoot me an email and I will talk to you and explain everything. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.